Monoflex SRS system, new style. Tire range, 8.25 through 1200 section width on truck and 9.532 to 12.438 tractor. Example tire used in this video is a 385 65R 22.5. Components. Control panel TRRSD. Heat pad inside SRS 1210H. Heat pad outside SRS 1210H. Airbag SRS 1210A. Airbag SRS 1210W. Housing SRS. Utilizing over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be hard wearing, efficient and as simple to use as possible. Location of the work site should be chosen so that the tyre and the Monoflex equipment are close enough to the control panel to prevent strain on either the electrical or air connections. Rotate the tyre so that the repair area is positioned centrally at the bottom. Liberally cover both sides of the heat pads with tyre talc to reduce friction during use. Clear any excess talc from the surface of the pads. Separate the Velcro straps on the face of the airbags and insert the bottom of the heat pads into the pockets. The labels should be facing away from the airbag. Secure tightly in place with the Velcro strap. Pass the rear strap of the SRS 1210A over the front leg of the housing and locate the valve through the hole. Place the rubber and metal washer on the valve stem and screw the valve nut down finger tight to hold in place. Turn the housing over and repeat the process with the SRS 1210W on the inside leg of the frame. The control wires should exit both heat pads from the same side of the housing. Using a spanner, connect the blue air hose to the valve on the SRS 1210W. Loosen the valve nut back up to the air hose after it's been attached, to allow free movement of the covers beneath the metal frame. Repeat this process to attach the black hose to the SRS 1210A airbag on the front side of the housing. The tyre should be securely supported to prevent it falling over during the repair cycle. Take the whole SRS assembly and slide the opening over the bead above the repair area. The heat pad should be positioned centrally over the sidewall repair and check that the inside heat pad and airbag are not folded over. Ensure that no leads are trapped. Before use, it is recommended that both the heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation on the tyre. Connect the SRS 1210H heat pads to the control panel power leads. To preheat, power up the control panel and hold down the start button on the timer. The displays will illuminate and show the current temperature. Wait for both heat pads to reach between 50 and 70 degrees centigrade. Press and hold the stop button on the timer. Connect both air supply lines, black to the SRS 1210A on the outside of the tyre and blue to the SRS 1210W on the inside. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knobs to adjust the pressure on the left gauge for the inside airbag to 40 psi and the right gauge for the outside airbag to 20 psi. When set correctly, lock off by pushing the regulator knobs down to click. Prior to final inflation, Check that all leads and electrical connections are securely connected and that nothing is trapped between the system and the tyre. Commence inflation of the airbags by simultaneously pulling down both blue slide valves on the base of the control panel. The airbags will rapidly inflate to operating pressure. When fully inflated, the tyre should appear in its natural shape. If it doesn't, adjust the airbag pressures using the slide valves. 
To begin the cure process, press down the start button on the timer. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 130 degrees centigrade, press the set button on the timer and the digits will start flashing. Press the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired time. Press the set button again to set the cure time. The panel will now begin to count down. The temperature will rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and power to the heat pads will be shut down. Exhaust air from both airbags first by pulling the slide air valves to the off position and then the quick release couplings can be disconnected from the airbag hoses. Disconnect both the inside and outside heat pads. Lift the whole assembly off the tyre, leaving it ready for the next repair. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both sides of the heat pad with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pad by the lead. Ensure heat pad is installed in the correct orientation. Do not leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the pressure. Monoflex Tire Repair Systems. 40 years of industry leading repair solutions. Monoflex offers complete repair solutions for any size tire, quality components, exceptional durability and first class global support and training. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to get in touch via mail at monoflex.com or visit our website monoflex.com